how many of you guys learned a new skill last year during COVID lockdown? Because I know a lot of guys that couldn't go to the barber shops decided to experiment themselves and cut their own hair and it was becoming a top trend on Instagram and whatever kind of social media about having their COVID cuts. But I've actually been cutting my own hair for about 10 years, maybe even going on 11 years and over the years I've gotten you know better and hopefully more experience in different type of cuts, different type of fades and of course they might vary differently over the years. Now I'm pretty much just using my basic stuff over here, just a Andis liner, a ceramic cutter, a couple of clips, cleaner, brushes and so on and pretty much I cut my own hair all the time. So. This could be part one of a two-part do-it-yourself video. All right, so I'm all cut up, all fresh now, and I was gonna jump right into the second part of the video, but then I think I should mention one thing. If you're going to cut your own hair, uh, cutting hair takes two parts. One is the actual cut, and two is the cleanup. So just always make sure that if you're going to cut your own hair, that you're cleaning up after yourself. So now let's go into part two of this video. I'll let you guys know this year I've been trying to take my fitness to a completely different level, trying to get as fit as I've ever been in my entire life. I think the last time I got anywhere close to this level was 2018, so I'm trying to outdo myself as much as I possibly can, which means two things. One, spending a lot of time in this room behind me, and number two, eating as clean and healthy as I possibly can. Now, with eating clean and healthy, I've also been taking protein as a supplement, and I also ended up buying protein bars, which are costing, I think, 40 something dollars for 12 bars which is on the expensive side now this part of the video is going to be making my own protein bars using some simple ingredients and we're going to go and make that now so the ingredients that we'll be using to make this protein bar is quaker oats quick one minute oats natural peanut butter protein powder which is what i have anyway for my protein shake sliced almonds and unsweetened almond milk so I'm going to start with mixing all my dry ingredients first, make sure that they're well blended before I add the wet ingredients into this. Now that I've added everything together, we want to be able to mix it as much as possible before placing it into a pan. Now once I've got it all in the pan, I want to make sure it's nice and even. Hit it around to make sure that it's flat and there's no air pockets underneath. I'm going to put these in the freezer for 30 to 45 minutes and then take them out and slice them just before they get too hard. 